Hey everyone, welcome back to another Magic Cop Monday. Uh, Monday. Uh, yeah, so this is Brandon and Phil from Zade Comics, the uh, artists and writers, Lost Pages, Magic Cop, all your favorite comic books, just the two best looking brothers in all of comics. And today we're doing another Magic Cop Monday. And if you uh, heard. yeah, if you didn't hear, uh, it's Magic Cop Monday. So last week was the closeout yeah. for Magic Cop 2. Which was very exciting because I think over the weekend, what did we, we gain like tons and tons of uh, new backers. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, we got like a few thousand dollars in sales and we almost reached the closeout goal for the Lost Pages 60 days. Which is crazy. Yeah, so. if you look at like Magic Cop 1, we had like 92 backers after the 60 days for that one. And then here we had 280 backers, which is like nine backers away from what the Lost Page, or no, from from what Magic Cop 2 fully got. The total the thing? thing? Yeah, I think we had 289 backers from Magic wow. Cop 1 um, throughout the whole thing. So, uh, super crazy. Thank you all for, for supporting us. Yeah, yeah. We, we did um, amazing numbers in that, that last few days. Like, I know we were on Cecil's stream, we got a bunch of backers, and then uh, that Tuesday, which luckily I just happened to have off work, so I streamed like three times. I was on Leroy's show, we were on Bancroft's show that night, which was so cool, and uh, then I rounded out with Shane's show, uh, and yeah, I think we made like 28 backers that whole day, uh, which, which was is huge, insane. which yeah. is really, really good. So cool. Uh, it was like the two most heavily backed days since the first day yeah right yeah, since we launched some people were saying that it's probably the most successful sequel yeah in, I don't know. Uh, we have to check that yeah. but yeah when we were on Bancroft show they're like yeah this might be because you know we closed out magic cop one with uh you know four thousand dollars after 60 days and then <laughs> it was what 13 yeah something just shy of 14 everything. yeah, yeah. And now, just ending it after 60 days, having 22,000. Yeah. Just over 22. Yeah. It and we're, we're still selling. Right, yeah. Which is great. God. So anyways, just to see that growth uh, is amazing. To, you know, see people coming back to a comic that's, you know, unorthodox for to be in the comic industry and doing the indie thing. It's not a superhero book, uh, but it's just a lot of fun, crazy wacky action and uh just awesome thank you all for for supporting it so, yeah it's so cool they love the universe i'm happy to see that they love the universe it's yeah great and we'll be going over the fan art soon uh, but yeah we're still in demand so if you guys haven't backed yet please do so hop on over to the indiegogo the link is in the description below you could grab that um did and we, yeah did we show off the blockheads uh i I think last week we did. Oh. We got really good images of the blockheads in, you know, we can show those off again. Yeah. This character, it's uh, the Headless Hitman, which is like another, just pushing the envelope of new designs, new engineering strategies for, for everything that we do at Zade Comics. And so we have the first headless blockhead. Yeah. Uh, you can see here the headless hitman with his giant collar, the floating sunglasses, and he looks so cool. He's got a gun now. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did. Uh, he did a fantastic job on the character, and I know they're they're kind of like uh, they have like a cult following behind them because they are so adored and hated at the same time. <laughs> because a lot of people can't put them together, but they just love them so much. Yeah, I, I've been on streams where they're like, oh yeah, they're doing blockheads again. Like, uh, yeah, people people dig it, and other ones are like, oh, now I gotta put it together another one of these things. <laughs> uh, but yeah, people, you don't need tape to put them together. It specifically instructs you to cut them out, and there's little uh, folds and stuff like that. Yeah, he does a great job engineering them, and yeah, uh, yeah you, like you said, you don't need tape. You can use tape if you have to, but yeah, you don't really need it. Um, but they're, they're always awesome to have, and just like... I'm sure somebody out there has as nice as eight comics blockhead collection of yeah. their characters. Yeah, for sure. Um, other than that, this week, so it's Monday again, so we are, are putting up more sketch cards this time. Oh, yeah. 
by uh, Simon Sinpothier, the creator of Blood Hunt and Tales from the Nat First. Go check out that campaign, it's still in demand. Um, one of the first artists that I really recognize from coming into the scene of having a distinctive style. Like if you see anything that Sim does, uh, you see it and you just look at him like that's by Sim. You know, yeah. that's, he's got his style and that's from him honing his skills through all these years of, of doing indie comics. Um, but yeah, he put together these awesome sketch cards. We got a Kick-Ass O'Hara one. Of course, Sim loves the, the big, the big body uh, characters. And, uh, you know, he's flipping the bird there, drinking a, a pint. <laughs> and uh, then we have this sexy chick torso with torso. a bunch of tat tattoos on yeah. here. Um, Sim always loves drawing the, the females. And, of course, Magic Cop, really cool stylized close-up on Magic Cop. Uh, he did do some sketch cards for, I think, all of our campaigns. And, and you guys are going to be able to get your hands on these. Uh, probably already sold out. Uh, by the time this video is up, but just still wanted to show off some awesome art from fellow artists uh, that are doing some uh, sketch cards for us. Yeah, if you guys are watching these videos and you see the sketch cards, you know, and we obviously put up the videos a little bit later in the day, you know, come back next week. You know, just keep this, uh, you get to see these, how good these sketch cards are for our campaigns, you know, and if you want them, just know next week that they're, they're going to be there. That's um, right. Other than that, we have the Hardline stream tonight, so make sure you guys tune in for that. Uh, those are always fun, and um, yeah, thanks you guys for watching. You know, like the video and subscribe. Do you have anything else that you want to say? No, I think that's it. Yeah, just like and subscribe. We just oh, another big announcement. I don't know if you even know. Yeah, who we're over seven hundred subs. Yeah, we're over seven hundred subs, which is so cool. Thank you guys for subbing to the channel. Uh, we do streams all the time, so ring that bell for notifications so you know when we're gonna go live. But yeah. until next time, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. See you.